What's going on YouTubers? It's Mushroom once again and I wanted to do a couple uh, I do a quick little video about some um, some cars that I have. It's an old collection that I got and um, in one of my old video in my recent videos I talked about uh, International Scout 2 Johnny Lightning that I got and I said that I have a lot of Johnny Lightning but I don't collect them. Well here it is. So without further delay uh, let's go ahead and show you some of my Johnny Lightning collection. This right here is the a Johnny Lightning Playing Mantis version. Um, this is the Firebird. Uh, I actually got this box of Johnny Lightnings from a friend of mine for like 25 30 bucks, I think. Um, and I, I love this thing. It's, I mean, I love these cars. They're just amazing, so... That's the Firebird. This is, and these are both plastic wheels, just FYI. This, I believe, is an old Mach 1 Mustang. Yeah, it is. There it is. They all have the opening hood, if you can see it. Really great paint jobs. Um, look, great shocks, too. <laughs> uh, here is a Real Riders rubber tired uh, Crown Vic. All you uh, police fans will like this car. As you can tell, it's very cool. Even has the logo right there. Okay, no opening hood on this one, but that's a real rider. Uh, I don't know what this is exactly. Um, I know it's 1997 and it's number 97, but uh, maybe you guys can help me with this one. I do not know what this model is, but still very cool also has uh, real rider tires on blacked out rims if you can see right there okay next up I'm gonna show you three of these bad boys because I love these three window 34's look at the detail on that even the hole for the uh, air intake is blacked out I love that Yeah, rubber tires okay that's the blue one with flames Here's a yellow one. Looks like a neat streeter. Uh, this one doesn't have the black that uh, air grill, but and this is also on plastic tires with rims. But they took the time to actually paint the brake lights. Pretty cool. And the third one is this very cool colored. This is also plastic wheels, plastic tires, plastic rims. But if you notice they do a better job on the rims than uh, Hot Wheels I mean these are great again Johnny Lightning the playing mantis version because um, now they're made by Tomy uh, there's a black dot air grill too so that's that here is a very cool 6 series BMW now I'm not a big fan of BMW I'm more of a Mercedes guy but look at that paint job beautiful beautiful and thank god they blacked out the bottom and made it satin okay one thing I do like about this car comp this toy company is that they actually do some fine detail work on the the base so they actually look really cool these are also on real rider tires rubber tires you can see the thing right there here is a Mach 1 Mustang convertible or maybe it's not a Mach 1 maybe it's just a convertible Mustang Anyways, this reminds me of back in the day of Charlie's Angels. Because <laughs> one of the angels used to have one of these things. I think it was uh, Cheryl Ladd. Uh, great color interior. Rubber tires. And they say, uh, what do they say there? Goodyear. Don't know what the other thing says, but anyways. Here is a, I think this is a Barracuda. No, this is a Charger. Dodge Charger. That's right. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful car. I mean, look at that. Look at that hood. Great, great, great. Here is a... What is this? Firebird? 69 Firebird? Uh, with the hood that opens up. Very cool. Plastic tires. Still, the rims on this are amazing. Very cool paint job. Love this car. Here is a Buick Grand National Regal. Um, 
with rubber tires. Very cool. My mom used to actually have one of these, a 1980 Buick Regal, and I used to get to drive it around in magenta, and it was a coupe. Um, here is a Speed Rebel Goat Buster. Uh, I'm going to say this is a Pontiac because of that grill. But here you go. Now, the thing I didn't really like about uh, Johnny Lightning is they kind of jump around from scale. So this technically should be similar to the size of this. But if you look at them, no. Now let's get them closer to, to let's get this guy. For example, this Firebird should be close, similar in the same size with this GTO. But it's not. So this is also on plastic tires. All right, uh, let's see. One of my favorite cars, and I got to drive one for a few months uh, about 10 years ago. That is the Corvette Stingray. Split window. Uh, the one I got to drive was a convertible, and uh, I loved it. I was helping the owner sell it, so I got to drive around everywhere. It was great. Look at those rims. Plastic tires, but great great detail on the rims I mean if Hot Wheels made a bunch of plastic tires like this I wouldn't need to put rubber tires on some other cars because plastic would be just fine here is a another this is actually rubber this is a, another Corvette Stingray um, and this is no I'm sorry this is just a Corvette 1980s version but like late 80, early early 80s, because you can still see the the lines of when the 70s Corvette Stingray. So uh, here we have a Buick, I believe. No, this is aha, the very sought after and very loved Oldsmobile 442. Now this, for some strange reason, is on plastic base. They're on real riders, but it's a plastic base. I don't get that, but. I don't know. And, um, actually, this is not a Johnny Lightning. Funny. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's called High Speed, and it's China. But, it has licensing stamps, so this is not one of those, uh, swap meet brands. Um, here is, okay, this is a strange car, because this says it's a 2000 Monte Carlo Chevy. With real rider tires, rubber tires. You can see the logo back there. You can see the Chevy Monte Carlo look. But why does it have the Pontiac grill? Looks like a Grand Prix grill. Lift up the hood. I think the hood was actually right there. You can see some detail underneath the hood. But yeah, if you guys know what's up with this, if this is like production air or whatever. It has the grill of a Pontiac, but it's a Monte Carlo. Chime in, let me know. Here is actually a Pontiac. This is a Firebird. I believe it has the Ram Air. See? Look. Don't they look like twins? That was a signature Pontiac fr uh, front grill. So. And there's the hood. Opens up to show you the Monster V8. Big leader V8. I love the undercarriage work on the chassis on the base. Great rubber tires as well. Great detail. Look at that. All the brake lights are painted and everything. Next up, the Dodge, or no, Plymouth Duster, I believe. Dodge Demon. Ah, Duster, same thing. Demon, Duster. Pretty much the same chassis, I believe. Uh, Puchef Morobi, you can tell me because you are the Mopar King, so if I'm right, the Demon and the Dust are kind of on the same chassis with different accents. Great car, rubber tires, metal on metal, beautiful car. Next up, we have a Bel Air, Chevy Bel Air. Look at that paint job. And they even did some gold inset work on there too. Gold accents, plastic wheels, but look at those wheels, they look great. Awesome car. 
Another one up. We have the Pontiac Firebird. Uh, great car. Look at the detail. I, I love this thing. Um, if my girlfriend would let me get one, I would buy one of these things. I love this car. Reminds me of the old uh, Burt Reynolds uh, Smoking the Bandit days. Alright, here is another... Uh, these are all Johnny Lightnings except for this one. Or maybe this is. But it just doesn't have the stampings. It doesn't look like Johnny Lightning. Here's another Johnny Lightning. And this is a 350Z. Look at that. It's tremendous detail. Look at that cab. Color right. Everything's right. Rubber tires. Back tempo is the logo of Nissan. Yeah. Alright, now we go into the Akuda. Look at this thing. Alright. Hood opens up to display blown out engine. Look at the detail on that. I don't know if you can actually see that, but. Great detail on the engine. Great car. Plastic wheels. Plastic tires. Look at that rear work. Awesome. One of my favorites, the 69 or 60, this is actually a 67 Camaro. Look at the under the hood work. Amazing. Red line rubber tires. One of my all time favorite cars. Uh, let's see. Ah. Beautiful, beautiful. I think this is, okay, it says it's called the Custom L. Let's get a focus up on this. Uh, right here. Beautiful, beautiful car. Alright. Oh, battery's overheating. But I think this is a Riviera. A Buick Riviera. Look at that under the hood work it's amazing I think this is based on a Buick Riviera plastic tires uh, I'm gonna pause right here here we picking up again I gotta run through this really quick um, here is another Ford Mustang Cobra Shelby, Shelby Cobra I believe this is like an early 80s or mid 80s um, I wasn't really a big fan of this design, but this Shelby Cobra is awesome. Here is another, uh, I believe this is a, what is this, a Lincoln, but I don't know which kind. Um, beautiful, very heavy. Look at that base work on rubber tires. Look at the uh, detail underneath the hood. Very cool. Another, uh, keep forgetting what this car is but um, it'll come back to me I remember but Hot Wheels has one right now and I believe the Hot Wheels version is a little bit bigger this one has rubber wheels on it too rubber tires on it here is a uh, I believe in like 69 maybe 68 68 Hemi Cuda very very cool with the opening hood, plastic tires, um, look at that detail work on the engine, pretty awesome. And again, very cool, these are like center line rims, um, look, look at that shock. Okay, we got another Mustang, again this is like kind of like the 80's version, I believe, very cool, maybe the 70's version actually. Look at the detail on the engine. Plastic rims again. Uh, these, I believe, are Thunderbird Concepts. If you know better, let me know. Leave it in my cons uh, comments section. But I have two of them. One that's not so uh, in great condition and one that's in perfect condition. So, alright. Pretty cool. Alright, and coming up towards the end, I believe this is also another Thunderbird. I could be wrong. Um, it reminds me of an Imperial 
as well, but I believe that's a T-Bird. I could be wrong, so, and I most probably am wrong, so chime in, let me know if this is uh, not a T-Bird. Look at that gold engine. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay. Ah, Shelby Cobra. With plastic centerline rims. Pretty awesome. Look at the detail work on that bad boy. I would have liked it if they uh, blacked out the grill and then actually put the little cooling fan that's in there. But, you know, still awesome detail. But, again, small. It's The scale is just off. Uh, that's what I don't like about these cars. Is, or um, Johnny Lightning. They kind of just don't pay attention to scale. They're not consistent. So, And last but not least, here is a Pontiac 71 Pontiac Grand Prix. Look at that thing. Chromed out engine. Great, great, great. It's on plastic red line style tires or rims. Great car. Okay, so what would Halloween be without some Halloween cars, right? And here we go. Again, Johnny Lightning. This is the bad machine. Um, look at the lightning bolt rims. Bad machine tampos. I don't know if you can see that, but look. It's a coffin with a skeleton inside of it. And just amazing detail. Oh, and guess what? Look. It's an actual Jolly Roger. It's not a tampo. It's an actual... Skull and crossbones, meaning death or danger. So we have that car for Halloween. We have another car for Halloween, and that is the, I don't know what this is, but it's very cool. It's a coffin with real rider, ti real rider tires, and it's like a dragster coffin. So, oh, look, didn't even know that was the case, but look, the canopy opens up. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, next one up is this bad boy. And they're all part of the Cairo View Productions. Um, I don't know who, who they are, but this is another Halloween style vehicle. This Could this be the Munsters, maybe? Um, I could be wrong, but this might be the Munster series. Anyways, very cool detail. Little lantern in the back. Um, we got two. one more after this. Here's another uh, dragster. This is the Tarantula. Um, kind of has like that spider looking front too, if you can tell. Dragged out. Yep, Tarantula, that's what it's called. Yep, very cool drag rage, uh, dragster. And last but not least, uh, another Real Riders. Don't know what this is, but it's actually probably one of the cool. Like, this is the coolest. The coffin car is cool too, but this is. And the guy with the bones in it is really cool too. But this one's pretty awesome because check this out. So you have the rear, you have the, the, the Real Rider tires engine all chromed out and then you have your drag tires in the front but look let me see if I can get this in there for you let me dim down the lights a little and hopefully you can see the that's a skull that's right skull this is like a real bone shaker um, and then check it out there is the front and then check this out there is another skull right there. And if you look down inside, um, there's actually, I believe, a hand. Right there. See that? That's a severed hand. So, hey, anyways, happy Halloween. This is the last of the Johnny Lightning Halloween cars that I have, and um, I hope you like what you see. 
please uh, leave me a message downstairs uh, and comment give me a thumbs up I'm sorry this took a long time but I did want to show you this collections awesome collection of Johnny Lightning cars um, thanks for watching and talk to you soon take care bye bye